take a look into my eyes. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Looking lovely as usual. We're looking at the ghost in the invisible bikini. Let me clue you in. The last of the beach party movies, and since it doesn't actually feature a beach, you've got to assume the series have probably run its course. Monkey business, I say. As ever, it features a couple of classic stars who needed work. Basil Rathbone. I think I'm going to be sicker. Who inspires the best joke in the whole film. Who them tree slop, boss? I don't know, but one of them looks like Sherlock Holmes. And no. Boris Karloff. I don't like this. I don't like this one tiny little bit. Who wasn't originally in it, but then executives saw the first cut and hastily added a completely new plotline featuring Karloff as a corpse. I beg your pardon. Trying to get into heaven with the help of his wife. Hey, wait a minute. You're dead. You've been dead for 30 years. Which explains the slight age difference, and she gives the film its title. Why is she wearing an invisible bikini? She was part of a circus act, and we can only assume is still performing in heaven. Not bad. Why is everyone else wearing a bikini, given that, you know, there's no beach? Don't you think we're overdoing it? Well, the haunted house does have a swimming pool. <laughs> And this girl is trying to win back her boyfriend, so... You gotta fight fire with fire, honey. Wear the bikini. It's just what the doctor ordered. Good advice. If your boyfriend has hooked up with another girl... She's acutely developed, all right. Cos she's showing more flesh... Who cares? Then just one upper. He's definitely worth fighting for. And this will only make him respect you. You are a stubborn one, aren't you? The initial setup is the classic everyone gather at the old house for the reading of the will. Excellent. Once they eliminate the other heirs, the fortune will be all mine. But wait! Someone's invited a busload of partying teens. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how two completely disparate genres can be blended seamlessly together without you ever questioning its plausibility? What are all these strange people doing here? From here on, this is essentially hillbillies in a haunted house, right down to the comedy gorilla. <laughs> but with rock music instead of country and western. When you find you're in trouble, you hell. This is what Hollywood thought young people listened to. Revolting little pipsqueaks. The bad guys are pretending the house is haunted. using a suit borrowed from the eye monsters. But the twist is, it's really haunted. Oh. Ah! Terrifying. We will not be scared. To be fair, this isn't meant to be horror. Put that in your teepee and smoke it. Sadly, it is meant to be comedy. My dear young man, I am not a Joshua. What it actually is, is a painful attempt to plug into youth culture. And now she and them tree slobs are going to steal a million clams from them folks. That only succeeds in embarrassing everyone involved. <laughs> propagating some racist stereotypes. Meet my train, okay? Well, what happened, how? And whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Bottom line, it sucks. Well... You can't have everything. Ghost in the Invisible Bikini mashes up old dark house movie with teen beach party movie. What other improbable genre pairings would you like to see? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.